You've taken some videos with your video camera and you've got them on your computer, but you want to share them online. One of the easiest ways to do that is with YouTube. So let's take a look at how you can sign up for YouTube and share videos. First things first, if you don't already have an account, you'll need to create one. And if you go to youtube.com, you'll see a big button that says create account. You'll also find that same option up here. So first, let's create our account. When the page loads, you'll need to fill out a little bit of information about yourself. First things first, you'll have to enter your email address. I'll enter mine here. When you're done, you'll have to choose a username. If you choose something that's already taken, you'll be alerted when you click Check Availability, and you'll get other options. For this instance, I'm just going to use Adam's test account, because that is available. Before you're done, you'll have to agree to the terms of service and fill out some of these other options. But when you're ready, go ahead and click I accept. You'll see this page next, especially if you already have a Gmail account and used it to sign up for your YouTube account. If you already have that Gmail account, it will ask you to link it. And in that case, you'll just go over here, see your address already filled in, and then type in the password to access that account. If you need to create a Google account, you can do so by clicking here. If not, just click Link Accounts. Once you're done, you're registered with YouTube and you can start uploading videos. You'll know you're signed in because you'll see your account name right up here and a sign out link for when you want to sign out. If you find that you're signing in again later and you're already signed out of your account, like I just did, you can click the sign in button up where the sign out button just was. Then you can go ahead and sign in with either your YouTube account, which you just created, or your Gmail address, which I'm doing right now. Once you're signed in, you'll always see an upload button right up on the top. And there are a couple options to upload. Let's take a look. Over here, you'll see you can upload a video, which will allow you to upload a video from your hard drive that you got off a video camera or another device. Or you can record directly from the webcam built into your computer or hooked up via the USB port. Now, we're going to take a look first at uploading a video on your hard drive. Click this yellow button that says Upload Video to get started. You'll see here on my desktop, I have a video called Earth Intruders. All I have to do is choose that, click the Choose button, and it will start to upload. Now as you can see, I've just been presented with many more options, and this is going to take a little while, about two minutes, to upload the video. Before we get into this further, let's talk a little bit about what just happened. First, YouTube supports certain kinds of formats. In this case, it was an MP4 file. You can see that because the extension on the file says MP4. It also supports things like WMV and MOV, for example. Not all formats will be supported, but in the event one is not supported, YouTube will let you know. YouTube has very good support for lots of different formats, so you should be fine if you want to upload just about anything you create with one of your cameras. Now moving down, you can see the upload's still in progress, and it's already processing the video. Here I can add a name. I'm just going to change this to Earth Intruders. I'm going to add a description. This is my video. And you can also add things called tags. Tags are little pieces of information that say what your video is about. You might say, this is a music video. That's one tag. Another tag could be that it has friends in it. It also has family in it. It was made in New York. It's fun. You'll notice that there are some suggestions here based on the tags I've already typed. I'll add NYC because it was in New York City. You can separate these by commas. You'll also want to choose a category. There are a limited number of categories and they're already specified for you. I'm going to choose music. You can choose whatever suits your video best. Now you also want to choose privacy. Do you want it to be public? Then you can stick with the regular setting. You can choose unlisted, which will let anyone view it, but it will not show up in search listings on YouTube so someone has to actually have the link to the video to view it. Or private, where only you can uh, choose who gets to see it by specifying certain viewers on YouTube. That means you'll have to enter their usernames and know what they are. So choose what makes most sense for you, and then hit Save Changes. My video changes have been saved, and my video has finished uploading. Now all I have to do is wait for the processing to finish. I'll find my video if I click on my account tab right here, 
it brings up a menu and you'll see an option for my videos. The video I just uploaded is right here. I can click on it to start viewing it. Now you can see this is my video page. This is the information I entered here. It noticed that I used a song that is by Bjork, which you have to be careful about the music that you upload to YouTube because there are issues with copyright, so you don't want to upload something that you don't own the rights to, like I just did. And uh, you'll be able to just copy this link here to share the video. You'll also be able to share the video in other ways, and you can do that down here with the share button. By clicking that, you'll also get a shorter link. You can share it on Facebook, on Twitter, you can email the video by clicking this button, or get embed code to put it on your website or blog. So that's how you upload a video to YouTube. If you want to do more after you've uploaded the video, you'll find that there's an edit button right here. You can always go back and edit your settings, so you can change things if you decided that you didn't like the settings you initially chose when you uploaded it the first time. Here you'll see a preview of your video. You'll also see the name and all the information that you added before. You can also choose a different video thumbnail now that the video has been processed. I'll choose this one. And you can change your privacy settings, decide whether or not you want to allow comments, voting, and a bunch of other things. When you're done, all you have to do is press the Ch Save Changes button. And that's basically all there is to uploading videos on YouTube. It's very easy to do. All you need is a video file, an account, and a little bit of time.